everyone. Have you ever seen a bouncing ball? I am sure we all have. Today's maths lesson is on the concept of a bouncing ball which follows the pattern of a geometric progression when it falls on the ground and rebounds over and over again. This concept is very important from an exam's perspective. The question is there on your screen. A rubber ball is dropped from a height of 24 meters. Every time the ball touches the ground, it rebounds to two-thirds of its previous height. And we are going to solve these two parts based on this question statement. So let us begin. So friends, the first part to this question is, how high does the ball bounce on the fifth bounce? And you can see the bouncing ball animation, which will help you visualize what's happening. Height of the initial drop, denoted by H0, is 24 meters. The first time the ball rebounds, it will bounce back to two-thirds of this height. So H1 will be 24 into 2 by 3, that is 16 meters. The second time it rebounds, it will bounce back to two-thirds of the previous height. So H2 will be 16 into 2 by 3, that is 32 by 3 meters and the pattern continues. The third time it rebounds, it will bounce back to two-thirds of the previous height attained, this one. So H3 will be 32 by 3 into 2 by 3, that is 64 by 9 meters. The fourth time the ball rebounds, it will bounce back to two-thirds of the previous height, this one. So H4 will be 64 by 9 into 2 by 3. That is 128 upon 27 meters. And finally, after the fifth rebound, it will bounce back to two-thirds of this previous height. So H5, which is our required answer, will be 128 over 27 into 2 by 3. That is 256 upon 81 meters. We can do some quick calculations or use a calculator at this stage and this fraction evaluates to 3.16 meters approximately. An important point to note for this sequence is that if you denote the first term with the letter A, then second term becomes A into R, where R is equal to 2 upon 3. And R denotes the common ratio. Third term then is AR square. Fourth term will be AR cube and so on. The sixth term will be AR raised power of 5. So we can infer that the heights attained by the ball are following the pattern of a geometric progression. Next question is, what is the approximate vertical distance traveled by the ball until it nearly halts? You know, I always take up this question whenever I teach the topic sequences and series. There is a simple catch because of which many students get it wrong. The trick lies in visualizing what's happening and then jotting down the first few numbers. Okay, so see, the height of the initial drop was 24 meters. The ball covered this distance only once while coming down. But every time the ball rebounds, it covers a distance equal to that height twice. Once when it is going up, and then again when it is coming down, up and down, up and down again. So every subsequent distance will be two times the height attained. Two times h1, two times h2, two times h3 and so on. Therefore, the total vertical distance covered by the ball will be 24 plus two times brackets, 16 plus 32 by 3, plus 64 by 9, plus 128 over 27, plus so on up till infinity meters. Now, as we discussed in part A of this question, the numbers in the underlying sequence follow the pattern of a geometric progression. In this geometric progression, the first term denoted by A is 16 and the common ratio denoted by R is 2 upon 3. And the number of terms is infinite. 
We know this GP is a converging one because the common ratio is less than 1. Sum of infinite terms of a converging GP is given by the expression A upon 1 minus R. So let us apply the formula. This A is 16 and R is 2 upon 3. A over 1 minus R will be the same as 16 upon brackets 1 minus 2 by 3 brackets close. 24 plus 2 times 16 into 3 is equal to 24 plus 96. Therefore, the ball covers the total distance which is approximately equal to 120 meters. That brings us to an end of this video lesson. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, don't forget to press the like button and also do subscribe our channel IPM Leap. Here is a glimpse of other popular maths videos on our channel. So keep watching and take care. Bye-bye.